I've got a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, a Huracan STO, an Urus Performante, and we're gonna get them on the dyno to see how much power they're actually making from their V12, their V10, and their twin turbo V8. We're also gonna put them on the scales to see how heavy they are and work out their true power to weight ratios. Let's do this. Buy, sell, car, wow. I'm here with Mark McCann, who owns the three Lamborghinis. Very lucky boy. We've had many a good time drag racing them. And now we're going to find out exactly how much power they have and what their power to weight ratios are and how close they are to the claim figures from the manufacturers. The first car that we've got up is your STO. Yes. Feels good? Feels strong? Yeah, definitely. Feels lively, sketchy, but quick. Rear wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah, quite exciting. Yeah, it's not surprising. You've got like that 5.2 litre natural aspirated V10 sending power to those rear wheels only via seven speed auto. Yes. Your clutcher. Power output. 640 horsepower, isn't it? Allegedly. Allegedly, exactly. So now we're going to find out what it's actually putting out. Right, Mark, we've had the STO on the dyno and Paul, who runs Whiffbits, has the truth in the performance of your car. This is measuring wheel horsepower, isn't it, the dyno? It is, yes. And this is rear wheel drive, so you've got exactly what this is putting down into the dyno. And what is that figure? How much power is it putting out? So it's 550 wheel horsepower. Oh my God, it's way down. It's supposed to have 640. That's oh, rubbish. Great. Your car's <laughs> crap. Right, I'll, I'll, give you, uh, I'll give you 100 grand for it. Sold. I don't know if I want it for 100 grand. <laughs> 50! <laughs> you shot too high again. You shot your bolt too soon again. Oh no. Okay, but obviously when the manufacturers measure their engine outputs, they do it at the flywheel. So we have to do a little calculation, don't we, to work out the drivetrain losses, blah, 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 blah. And when you do that calculation, Paul? 636 horsepower. 636? Four horsepower down? Four horsepower down. Which is, you know, it's neither here nor there, is it? Isn't it? Not really. It's like force power between friends. Who cares? It's pretty much bang on the money is what I'm saying. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah, I don't know. I was expecting. I'd rather it was force power more than four hours oh, below. But, 100%. you know, different day, different temperature. Maybe it would be. Who knows? Because I suppose everybody always says that I've wrecked them. So that just, it's not a great start, is it? Well, you haven't wrecked it. It's pretty much doing what it's supposed to do. Perfect. Paul, can you just talk us through the power curve? Pretty normal for these V10s. They, they make all the power right at the top. So you get a big increase at the top end. Right there. So peak power is 7,900. So peak power right at the top, but with enough room for you to be able to get a good gear change in and not cock it up. Yeah, it's about really, isn't it, really, yeah. What's that big hole there? It's dip. Yeah. Ask Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Lamborghini, any answers? <laughs> Comment below Lamborghini. Power is just one side of the performance equation. We need to find out how heavy it is to work out its power to weight ratio. Let's get it on the scales. Let me talk you through the claimed weight on this Lamborghini STO. See, Lamborghini for its sports cars doesn't claim weight like everyone else, which is DIN. It just gives you the dry weight of the car and it comes in at 1,340 kilos. When you factor in like fuel and fluids for a proper DIN weight, that comes to 1,440 kilos. So that's what it's supposed to weigh. That'll give you a power to weight ratio of 445 horsepower per tonne if you use the Lamborghini claim figures. However, what are the real figures? Well, we've got Dylan here, from Scale Smart, he's put your car on these special scales. What number are you getting? We're getting 1553. That's with a full tank. That's right. But DIN is with 90%, so we have to do a little calculation to get it back to proper DIN weight. What's that? It's 1547. 1547, so it's over 100 kilos heavier than we were anticipating the DIN weight to be. Over 100 kilos. How? I, I don't know. What? Your Sticker. stickers. <laughs> <laughs> What's it made out of? Completed uranium. Is it like the heaviest sticker in the world? Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. It's quite a lot more, isn't it? Considering, you know, it's supposed to be a lightweight, sporty car. But, so you're overweight, slightly under power. All good news so far. Oh, all good news. So, <laughs> power to weight ratio is supposed to be 445, but the reality, 411. So 10% discount then for next time I buy one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're going to get it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to a car that is much heavier, but has a bit more power. Next up then, Mark, we have your Urus Performante. So on paper, it is more powerful than the STO, but is that going to be the case in reality? Because after all, we've drag raced this, right? <laughs> Here it goes again. And it was beaten by 
a normal Urus, which is supposed to have less power. So I wonder if this is just, you've got unlucky, you've got a Friday car, I don't, I don't know. I have got a lot of excuses, which I could like, if we can list them on the screen or anything like that, or um, <laughs> you can keep on talking about it every time <laughs> I'm in here. So there's gonna be no excuses here. So no. in that video, you could tell it just launched badly, it didn't get traction, blah, blah, even I said though- all those. Yeah, you did sell those, and they counted for nothing, because it was actually beaten by the normal Urus in the rolling race as well. The only thing I can say is it was, <laughs> under, under 200 miles or 100 miles. It was very, very new. So I'm hoping that that was sort of like um, the main contributing factor, not my ability to... S to go like that? Yeah. On the accelerator. Okay. Very so now you think it's running? Whatever yes. Whatever it's done now? I think about 2000, something like that. 2000. So definitely on its way. So can we just admit that? No excuses now, right? No, 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 no. Apart from maybe this, I don't know how good the equipment is. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So we're going to find out whether it produces more power than the STO like it should do. Let's run it up. Hi, right, Mark. We're running it on the dyno and we have some numbers. Paul, reveal all. Well, the numbers don't take off your clothes. <laughs> so it made 582 at the wheels. Ooh. That's good, isn't it? You know. We're up. But what's, you know, the calculation when you work it out for drivetrain losses, what, what are we saying? 704 horsepower. 704 horsepower. So now the devil thing doesn't work anymore. No, the 666, no, it doesn't work anymore. But you're not going to complain, right? No. Up is definitely better than down. Up, so. up is definitely better than down. <laughs> That's what your missus says. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? Decent performance, and you know, you were saying that one of the problems was maybe it wasn't running when we drag raced it. So, yeah, so it sounds all right now, doesn't it? It seems all right now, and maybe you're right. We're going to have to get it back and do another drag race with it. Now, if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss when we do upload that video. It's still going to get beaten, though, right? It's just that's what happens to you. Thank you. <laughs> not coming again. This is definitely the last time I told you last time. <laughs> Can we still put it on the scales though? Um, yes. Uh, For the Aurus, Lamborghini state din like normal European manufacturers. Don't know why they don't do it for their other cars, but hey, here we are. And they say this car should weigh 2,150 kilos. However, we put it on the scales and it's heavier than, in, than they say it is, isn't it Dylan? Yes. Oh dear, go on reveal Dylan. So Thomas. the actual weight is 2282. That's with the full tank, so with 90% tank, what does that come to? 2275. That's 125 kilos more. I have got my dumbbells in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you'd been working out, actually. I'm glad you noticed. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. So it's quite a bit more. You've got quite a bit more power, though, and it's quite interesting that when you take the power to weight ratio that we've calculated here, it comes to 309 horsepower per turn, which is exactly the same as if you run the numbers on Lamborghini's claim figures. You won in terms of extra power and you lost in terms of extra weight and you're basically where you started. Do you know what, Mark? I've had a thought. Obviously, you spent £70,000 on options. Options add weight. What were some of the options you added? Double glazing, so I'm guessing that's twice as much glass. Yeah. Premium air quality. We don't even know what that is. No, but premium will be heavy, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, sounds it. Um, massage seats, B&O sound system. More speakers. What you've gone and done is you've bought the Performante, which has carbon on it to make it lighter and has more power, but then you paid Lamborghini more money to make the car heavier and therefore slower than it could be. Yay. <laughs> Let's move on to the daddy though. You know what that is, it's your, it's your SVJ. No, I, I knew my dad wasn't here. Okay. That's what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mark, I've been looking forward to this, getting yeah. your SVJ on the dyno. I mean, this car's had a load of abuse. It's been driven hard, but not frequently. So in my defence, I feel it averages out to just have a nice life. And occasionally driving it hard is just what you call an Italian tune-up. It's an Italian car. It should love it. So maybe it's going to do more power than we think. So 6.5 litre, V12, it's supposed to put out 770 horsepower. Do you reckon it's going to more, less? Bang on. Do you know it's a difficult one because it does feel amazing. So fingers crossed, we've got a bit more would be nice. That's, That's what Jane says. <laughs> anyway, let's find out about the car's power, not that.
Mark, I know this is your favourite of the three cars yeah, by a mile. It's, it's a keeper for you as well, isn't it? If I can, I would like to never sell this car. So it would be good then if it does good power. It's supposed to do 770 horsepower. Paul, what have we got? So it's 686 at the wheels, which equates to 809 horsepower. It's the it, fastest one in the world. It's <laughs> the fastest ever. <laughs> the SVJ ever. So you've broken 800 horsepower. That's a key thing. You know, yeah. I actually thought this was going to be down. I really did. Just, you know, there's clips of him like drifting it in sand and stuff like that. But I guess the air filters and stuff and, you know, you maintain it well. And actually giving it those Italian tune-ups. Yeah, yeah. Done the job. It's, it's a sweet motor. And the best thing is, talk us through the actual power curve. So, yeah, it's making peak power at the rev limiter, 8,300 revs. So you absolutely have to rev rev it all the way out yeah. any time you drive it. Because that, <laughs> the peak power is right there at the end. Hit that limiter. In fact, the, the trick is going to be, though, to pull the paddle at the right time so you don't bounce off it. Proper result. Dead happy about that. But are we going to be disappointed with how much it actually weighs? The highs and lows of life. Mark, we're all very happy right now because this car is producing some epic horsepower. But we've seen from your other Lamborghinis that they're heavier than claimed. Hmm. So there's a chance <laughs> yeah. this might be as well. So the claim weight, the unladen weight, is 1,525 kilos. We've converted it to DIN. That comes out to 1,630 kilos. But Dylan has had it on the scales. And how much did it weigh? It weighs 1857. And when you account for the fuel? 1850. 1850. It's supposed to be like 1630 and it's 1850. 220 kilos heavier. That is mental. Like the Aorus is like 120 over. Yeah, yeah. The STO is like just over 100 over. This is like, well, they're getting overs. <laughs> <laughs> but it's overs in terms of weight, which is offsetting your horsepower quite a bit. I can't get over that. I really can't. So, when we take your power figure and your actual weight figure, it's not doing quite so well. It's a similar story to the STO, actually. So, using Lamborghini's claim figures, obviously converting for DIN, the power to weight ratio of this car should be 472 horsepower per tonne. But even though <laughs> it's got a load more power than it's supposed to have, it's more than offset by that weight. It is 437 horsepower per tonne. The Lamborghini Urus had exactly the same power to weight ratio than claimed, but the STO and the Aventador have had less. Have you left anything in the car? <laughs> Should we have a look if there's anyone in there? Yes. <laughs> well, anyone. I don't think someone who weighs 200 kilos would fit in there, but you haven't been chopping for dumbbells and stuff, have you? Oh, no, gym? don't look in there. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. OK, right, what we're going to do is we're all going to go stand over there and look away, and um, yeah, Mark's going to have a look what's in there and decide if it's heavy. Shh. OK, Mark, you've removed this stuff from <laughs> under the bonnet. And it has reduced the weight of the car. 200 kg? Yes! No, um, just five. OK, just <laughs> five kg. So it's, it's like 215 kilos heavier than it should be. And that means that your power to weight ratio has gone up slightly to 439 horsepower per tonne. So still 7% down on what Lamborghini says it should be. Anyway, it's got a lot more power, and that's yeah. what really matters. And it still looks good. And it still looks good. Are you surprised? I'm just, I just can't get over the weight. It doesn't make no sense. Like, I, I can't imagine how they can give that figure uh -huh. and be so far out. Yeah, <sighs> I don't know either. But if you had to have one, would you rather it be over on weight and over on power or the other way around? Oh, definitely over on weight, 100%. Yeah, yeah 100%. it's all about the power, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, let's compare the power of these cars. So the green one is the Urus, and you can see here that it's obviously producing more power throughout most of its rev range than the SVJ, which is the blue line, and the STA, which is the red line. But once it's reached its peak power, but I just, that's it, you know, it's topping out six and a half thousand RPM. This is where the SVJ comes past because you can rev it all the way, look, eight and a half, and it's producing its peak power right that peak there and if you look at the STO once again a nice smooth graph like the SVJ less of a bulge than you get with the turbocharged Urus this just comes on song like after seven it really just shoots up now you don't get the peak power right at the very end but it's like nicely there so there's plenty of time to shift up the interesting thing is though that 
you can see how they all compare and how they produce their power. And when you look at the actual calculation when you count for drivetrain losses, how the SVJ, you know, it's like doing 39 horsepower more than Lamborghini claimed. The Urus is doing 38 horsepower more. I mean, that's really impressive. And the STO just here with its, um, it's, it's four horsepower less.